once again, you know, this was supposed to be calling all minions, but I guess we're just going to kind of call it a piracy show sort of thing. It's going to be one of these things where I talk for a little while, and I wanted to go back to uh, all the things that we learned on Friday of last week from that interview. And one of the big problems that CIG often faces is that, you know, when there are issues with ships, despite the rigorous internal review process these these problems still seem to crop up and some of them quite glaring like you know they use the example of you know we were able to build the hammerhead so fast because it reused so many of the idris assets which in truth is a vindication of cig's idea that we you know once we build one ship from a lineup the next ship comes out faster and faster and faster unlike the cutlass red and blue <clears throat> but when we looked at the problem of the hammerhead, you know, one of the interesting problems that a lot of us brought up is that, you know, you have this open cargo bay that constantly vents the atmosphere whenever you open the cargo bay and the same for the elevators. Yet there isn't a sufficient space anywhere in that ship to stow a helmet to, you know, protect you from being, you know, asphyxiated by the lack of an atmosphere or the presence of a toxic atmosphere. Just one minor little thing. And it seems that often CIG's attitude towards these things is like, oh yeah, you know, well, you know, maybe uh, maybe we'll fix it. And, we, and we've seen them kind of talk about it grudgingly. Like, yeah, maybe we can go back and fix it. But I feel that they're kind of missing a big opportunity. And it was something that they talked about in that, you know, in that episode was they were talking about, you know, we come out with the ship, we bring it out, and players start thinking, well, well, can it do this, too? And can it do the other thing, too? And they were using a lot of the more comical examples that players have given over the years, like, oh, can I turn my Cutlass into a broadside ship? Or something like that. But I think that, unknowingly, like the community is presenting CIG with untold opportunities to go back to some of these ships and fix some of these issues that ordinarily they wouldn't want to fix or they just don't have time to fix because the production schedule you know chris says this ship has to be out in time to meet you know this date so you know it's got to be there or you know there's got to be a really good reason why it's not there and so they you know they can't they can't find time in that rigid schedule to kind of go okay let's take the retaliator back and fix that or let's take, you know, the Valkyrie back or the, you know, whatever ship. Take it back and fix some of these, you know, glaring functional issues. You know, some, some people's problems are just subjective, right? Oh, I don't like the paint scheme. Or, oh, I wish it was less shiny and more of a matte finish. You know, whatever. Problems that are entirely subjective. But there are objective problems with some of these ships that need to be fixed. And unfortunately, I think... The way CIG is approaching that problem is like, well, well, we'll fix it in a later version of the ship. We saw that with the 600i, right? There were a myriad of complaints regarding the interior of the 600 series of starships. And it's like, well, we took all that into account when we designed the 890. That, well, that's fantastic. But what does that do for the 600, right? And I think that, you know, when they were talking about how players kind of keep coming up with new ideas of how we can use these ships for different things, I think that presents an opportunity to CIG to kind of say, hey, we never thought of this potential use for this ship. What if there was a variant that did that? And then we use the production time when we're making that variant to go back to the original ship and touch up and fix some of the existing issues with those ships and you know help reduce that uh, backlog that we hear about so much you know when players express these this interest in you know perhaps a war you know an e-war variant of the retaliator or you know a combat variant of the 600i something like that when players express interest in something like that that would be a great opportunity to make a ship that kind of fills out that role but at the same time use that existing ship to make the ship that much faster and go back and fix some of the problems that you wanted to fix with the original ship 
but you didn't realize that you needed to fix until after the community got it because you know the internal review process doesn't seem to catch a lot let's let's look at a very specific example um we know that at some point in the near future hopefully fingers crossed that we are going to get the cutlass red we know that that's a thing it's on the schedule it's going to happen right what opportunities does this avail to us well this gives us the opportunity to fix the cockpit issue within the cutlass black you know you said that oh no we would have to go back to final art to make it so you, you could fly the cutlass from the front or the back seat you know so we can't do that because we'd have to go well here's your opportunity to fix that but then we can take that a step further we are obviously going to have to develop some new and interesting assets to make a medical version of the cutlass right to make that cutlass red what if we took that and those tools and then we expanded it instead of creating a whole new medical ship like we did several months ago why don't we make the caterpillar red now this gives us a chance to go back to the caterpillar we get to use some of the assets that we used in making the cut uh, the cutlass red but now we can go back to the caterpillar and we can create medical modules now you can buy the purpose-built cutlass or caterpillar red that um, has all the medical modules pre-installed and we can sell that to you as a whole new package with lti or you can just buy the modules and slap them onto your existing caterpillar there may be some functionality discrepancies, some added things that come with the Caterpillar Red that you may not get with a, a Caterpillar that's just been upgraded with the modules, but you'll get the core function of that medical capability. And who knows, maybe this is a chance to go back and make it so that the elevators on the different cargo pods all work as well, because that's how you get your patients up into the triage area or however you want to do it. it opens up a tremendous opportunity to go back and have the time and the reason to go back and f you know fix up the caterpillar and get some of these f basic core functionalities of the, the base version of the caterpillar into the game so it, it's kind of like two birds for one and a half stones you know i think that you know looking at these ideas that the community has with existing ships not looking at them as like, well, you know, we got to make sure that, you know, the community is going to try to use it to do this or the community is going to try to use it to do that instead of, you know, running away from that or trying to find ways to shut that down. Why not embrace it and use it as an opportunity to go back and maybe correct some of the oversights on the older existing ships? There's plenty of room within the existing ships to create many of the ships that you're going to need to sell in the future and also it's an opportunity to lessen the workload of bringing those into the game and thereby making the game come out just a little bit sooner hopefully instead of wasting so much time and effort trying to outthink or out position your uh, community which by the way never works I mean ask Blizzard <laughs> um, they tried to outthink their community and failed tragically <laughs> quite recently in a number of different game areas. But, you know, embrace that community creativity and use it as a driver, you know, as a way to kind of correct these mistakes as they happen. And they will, you know, they do. Mistakes do happen, surprisingly enough. And sometimes you have to go back and fix a few things. And there, here is a way to do it. The community is giving you the excuse. They're giving you the opportunity to go back and say, you know what, we can actually fix this now. We actually have the time and we've got a way to actually make ships in such a way that, you know, it's not going to be as difficult and it's going to be even faster and faster. We're always looking, you know, you're always looking for ways to, you know, get ships to, in the player's hands faster. This is the way. We have such a wide variety of different visual designs, you know, in the ships that we have. Now, is there room for newer, different designs? Sure, but I think that right now the focus should be on kind of getting the core game out into players' hands. So maybe step back from any of these unannounced, you know, future ships that require a whole new hull and a whole new design. Instead, look at it 
as an opportunity to fix some of the existing problems and hopefully get the game into players hands a little bit sooner anyways that's my thoughts on the topic love to see what you guys are going to say in the comments down below anyways that is the show for today i hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully we'll get some more interesting questions in ask the devs section of the forum so we can do calling all minions again but we'll have to wait and see so yeah hope you enjoyed the show thanks for watching Thank you for watching. So, 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 so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow, please follow, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.